Give me a question that I asked. I got it wrong. Are you ready? All right, another hand for Whitehall and Camel Blue. Thank you for uh, performing earlier. My name is Dana Lyons, and we are here uh, to help fundraise for Earth Heart Growers who are over here. And uh, Earth Heart Growers is totally cool. I hope on my next uh, swing through Charleston I can go visit them, but they work uh, in the schools teaching children how to garden and they grow food and they learn how to cook the food they grow and they learn how to market and sell the food at the farmers market so they're learning all kinds of skills which are really important skills and they're also really fun when you're a kid to actually do something and make a little money and it's yours you actually did it so I really appreciate what you're doing and that's a uh, for those of you who are studying sustainability I, I did classes with Todd and Seth and you know that food is at the food is at the center of sustainability um, it seems like our culture won't become aware of the situation until the food becomes an issue it, and the food is definitely not an issue right now boy matter of fact the food is pretty outstanding here in Charleston it's hard to imagine there could be a problem <laughs> Uh, before I forget, I want to thank Joel, who was doing the sound. He's back there. Joel has risen to the occasion and mixed all three acts tonight. And I'd like to follow the Turn of the Wrench song with a... My rock out song with a total folky children's song. <laughs> and uh, just because this is... I'm going to dedicate this to Earth Heart Growers. And I bet... A lot of our College of Charleston students learn this in the second grade. I bet you learned, some of you learned this song. Okay, here we go. See if you know. This will be on my second children's album. I have one children's album now called Night to Hell at the Moon. I'll be singing a song from that in a little bit, but this will be on my second children's album. Tell me if you know this one. Inch by inch, row by row. Gonna make this garden grow. Does anyone know this? Yeah. You know this? Yes, yeah. of course you know this. Everyone knows this. This is like yeah. Stairway to Heaven. <laughs> All you need is a rake and hoe and a piece of fertile ground. Inch by inch, row by row. Please bless these seeds I sow. Please warm them from below till the rains come tumbling down. Plant your rows straight and long. Temper them with prayer and song. Mother Earth will make you strong if you give her love and care. And old crows watching hungrily from his perch in a yonder tree in my garden i'm as free as my feathered friend up there here we go now inch by inch row by row i'm gonna make this garden grow all you need is a rake and hoe and a piece of fertile ground inch by inch row by row Please bless these seeds I sow. Please warm them from below till the rains come tumbling down. Rain for grain, sun and rain. Find my way through nature's chain. Use my body and my brain to the music of the land. Plant your rows straight and long. I temper them with prayer and song Mother Earth will make you strong If you give her love and care Oh, inch by inch, row by row I'm gonna make this garden grow 
All you need is a rake and hoe and a piece of fertile ground. Inch by inch, a row by row, please bless these seeds I sow. Please warm them from below till the rains come tumbling down. Till the rains come tumbling down. Thank you. And here is uh, an extrapolation of the garden song. This is called Willie Says. And I live in uh, Bellingham, Washington, which is right up next to the Canadian border. And uh, my town is on uh, Lummi Indian territory. Um, and does anyone know who the original native peoples were here, the name of the tribe? Does anyone know that? I should have looked this up. Out, out west, uh, Washington State has the fourth, large, uh, fourth largest population of Native Americans in the United States in it. And so a tradition at most concerts and events are uh, someone when they open the event will, will give thanks to the Native peoples of the area, the original, you know, original peoples of the area. They'll recognize them. It's kind of a cool tradition. But uh, Willie was an elder with the Lummi Nation. They're a salmon fishing nation. And uh, she was a leader there, and she and her husband, uh, Chattiscate and Witch Talem, were uh, instrumental in the resurrection of the traditional Lummi longhouse religion. And I don't know if you're aware of this, but in many states in the United States, uh, Native American religion was illegal up into the 1970s. That's when I was in high school. Isn't that amazing? You, know, you think things have been different, but they haven't been different for that long. So they, uh, my, uh, Willie's husband actually was put in prison for his work on resurrecting their uh, native religion, but now it's, it's all happening. But uh, this is a song I wrote for her. Willie says, here's a story that you may not comprehend But the parking lot will crack and bloom again There's a world beneath the pavement that will never end The seeds are lying dormant It will never end Willie said if you listen, you can hear the sound of birds Hear their song above the chaos, hear their words Listen to their love song that will never end The seeds are lying dormant, it will never end If you listen, you may hear and the old one sits with me above the city While I watch the madness of the world below Then she laughs and tells me that it's temporary Underneath the wild garden waits to grow Willie says when you say you are afraid, I understand In a place where one can rarely smell the land But the ocean breeze still blows here that will never end The seeds are lying dormant, it will never end Willie said if you listen to this tree, you'll hear its song It's the music that my people pass along It's a dream that keeps returning, that will never end The seeds are lying dormant, it will never end If you listen, you may hear and the old one sits with me above the city 
city While I watch the madness of the world below Then she laughs and tells me that it's temporary Underneath the wild garden waits to grow Here's a story that you may not comprehend But the forest here will rise and bloom again There's a world beneath the pavement that will never end The seeds are lying dormant, it will never end Listen to their love song that will never end it's a dream that keeps returning That will never end Never end Never end Never end Never end Willie said Willie said a cowboy and his pa before him. They rode the range, killed the buffalo, and fought the Indian. But the great herd's on the prairie, and the wild frontier is gone. So to carry on my heritage, I go out and ride the lawn. Ride the lawn. Ride the lawn Here on my quarter acre lot I sing my freedom song Ride the lawn Ride the lawn oh. We'll hunt the dandelion down And whack him till he's gone My neighbor is a slacker and he rarely rides the lawn. He says that he likes wild flowers with dew on them at dawn. But the enemy travels quickly when the winds are strong. Next week while he's on vacation, his dandies will be gone. Ride the lawn, ride the lawn. Here on my quarter acre lot I sing my freedom song Ride the lawn Ride the lawn oh, oh. We'll hunt the dandelion down And whack him till he's gone The problem with suburbia Is you cannot shoot your gun so how does one kill herds of moles who eat grass just for fun? Well, I've loaded up my arsenal with shells and ammo cans and under cover of the fireworks, July 4th, I'll make my stand. Ride the lawn, ride the lawn Here on my quarter I'll sing my freedom song Ride the lawn Ride the lawn oh, oh. We'll hunt the dandelion down And whack him till he's gone My 
son came home from college and he criticized my lawn. He said fertilizers, herbicides, and pesticides are wrong. Well, I'll listen to your politics and your weirdo leftist songs. But when you're under my roof, don't you dare speak ill of lawns. Ride the lawn. Ride the lawn. Here on your quarter acre lot, I sing my freedom song. Ride the lawn. Ride the lawn. Till he's gone Ooh, Ride the lawn Ooh, Ride the lawn Thank you, that's a true story <laughs> About my father and I I came home after my I think it was Thanksgiving break of my sophomore year. My dad is way into lawns, <clears throat> and uh, I started telling him everything. I thought he'd be interested, right? I started telling him everything I learned at college about lawns, about you know the pesticides going down on the Chesapeake Bay, and how I was wrecking that, and the fertilizers of the algae blooms, and the and I'm going on and on. And it's important to look at someone when you're speaking to them, especially when you're lecturing them, and. When I finally looked up, my father had this kind of awkward posture and strained look on his face, and he says, uh, your mother and I support what you boys do, but we will not speak of lawns in this house. And he walked out. I swear to God. And I'm like, I don't know what I did, but I did something. And my parents were there when I played the song for the first time, and when I got to, the, got to the chorus, my mother was going like this to my father. <laughs> but uh, I was telling this to Todd. My, when I got out of college and I became a... And I started working on different environmental projects and I would tell them I was visiting my college buddies and telling them all about it. And I said, you know, I don't know if they totally understand what I'm doing. And my father said, you do realize... Uh, what an inconvenience you are to everyone else. <laughs> it's so accurate, though. It's like, it's like people are listening because they love me, but it's like, oh, yeah, okay. You know, it's kind of like, well, you know, I mean, try to talk to someone about climate change or sustainability, they're like, oh, yeah, yeah that's cool, man. Yeah. Preach. How about, how about the, the Atlanta team? <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> Oh, so I, uh, I walked to go walk with Todd, and we ended up uh, at Professor Seth, uh, Seth's office, and we were, Seth was giving me a lesson on you know, what, what will happen with the carbon. Uh, like, I was kind of the impression that, okay, you know, we create lots of carbon, and then temperature goes up, and then there's a crash, and then we act, and then we, we realize our mistake, and then we act, we act, we were good boys and girls, and we, live sustainably and then in my head the rain would kind of bring the carbon down and it would clean itself up in a couple hundred years, a thousand years, three thousand years and bam! <laughs> Thanks for playing day and I, what I learned is like well actually it just stays there and it creates this new it's just this whole new epic uh, situation <laughs> and I'm like oh really? <laughs> so yeah, he says and some of us, some species will make it, some species won't and so that was a little bit, a little bit of heavy duty for me. And then I, I said, "Oh well, this this song fits perfectly. This is on my children's album. That uh, this is a, this is called. Uh, this is written by my friend Mark Graham in Seattle. This is called. Uh, Their brains were small and they died. <laughs> <laughs> when I sit in contemplation of our human situation, I often get a certain sense of pride. Our achievements are many and mighty. The evidence cannot be denied. But my thoughts are always taken and my reverie is shaken 
by that tragedy that happened so long ago when they moved through the land beings awesome and grand the fabulous dinosaurs they were creatures in a manner quite reptilian in their unique and stylish way and their numbers could be reckoned in the millions but there are zero of these heroes in the world today they had music art and fashion there was dinosauric passion and I think they'd be enraged and mortified when they're mentioned today it is only to say their brains were small and they died <laughs> perhaps some asteroid that mother earth could not avoid became the agent of their premature demise I've heard these things can happen but who are we to criticize when we'll spend most any price to make the ultimate device that ensures the perfect global suicide? I would venture instead that the humanoid head is where the tinier brain resides. <laughs> and when we're gone, our works will start to crumble until nothing can be found. In 10 million years, some other guy will stumble on our fossils and some expert will begin to expound in some scientific study to his cockroach science buddy how the evidence can never be denied they were big dumb and slow they couldn't go with the flow their brains were small and they died <laughs> that might be on your syllabus next year <laughs> Here's the, here's the sister song to that one. <clears throat> I was on tour in New Zealand when... Uh, which, which I was like a month... Oh, yeah, I was on tour in New Zealand a month after uh, the earthquake in Christchurch, New Zealand. So my Christchurch show was canceled because the venue was gone. I was like, ooh. And when I was in the Christchurch airport... I'm look, it, was, it was intense. I'm looking around, I'm like, wow, there must have been a convention of people with broken legs. And <laughs> there was like a hundred people in wheelchairs with broken legs and broken arms. And it took me a little while to catch on like, oh, these people got injured in the earthquake. It was pretty intense. But I was in the airport when they had the earthquake in Japan where Fukushima happened. And so that week I sang th that song and this song back to back. Hey, thanks, Jonathan and Liz. Thanks for your great work. You're coming back. Okay, good, good. They're the heroes from the Earth Heart Growers. <laughs> so there's a, uh, some background vocals, which I'll teach you when we get to that. My portfolio is high. I'm going on vacation. Anywhere I want to. Put it on my card I could use a little sun And to see some ancient ruins The pyramids are calling Off to Egypt I will fly I go swimming in the big Egyptian river I'm bathing in the waters Of Dinah the sun is shining down and everybody's happy I'm bathing in the waters of denial okay, that's the chorus here are the background vocals I go swimming in the big Egyptian backstroke breaststroke side stroke crawl I know it looks hard but we're, we're gonna rehearse it <clears throat> I go swimming in the big backstroke, breaststroke, side stroke, crawl. Egyptian backstroke, breaststroke, side stroke, crawl. Very good. Bathing in the waters of denial. He's got it. He's got it all. Okay. Let's try that one. Bathing in the waters. He's got it. Of denial. He's got it. He's got it all. Let's try those two lines together. Backstroke, breaststroke, side stroke, crawl. I go swimming in the big backstroke, breaststroke, side stroke, crawl. Egyptian 
Backstroke, breaststroke, side stroke, crawl, bathing in the waters. He's got it. Oh, do not. He's got it. He's got it all. The sun is shining down. And everybody's happy, happy. He's so happy, happy. Yeah, that's the easiest line. Okay, let's try that. The sun is shining down. And everybody's happy, happy. He's so happy, happy, bathing in the waters. Oh, and I'll try the whole thing together. Backstroke, a breaststroke, a side stroke, crawl. I go swimming in the big backstroke, breaststroke. Egyptian backstroke, a breaststroke, a side stroke, crawl. But in the waters, he's got it. Oh, denial, he's got it. He's got it all. The sun is shining down. And everybody's happy, happy. He's so happy, happy, bathing in the waters of denial. My job is so secure, and my government is stable. The weather's getting better, a little warmer every year. And now we've got free trade, and everyone will prosper. The locals here are happy. I think I'll have another beer. Let's go swimming. I was swimming in the big backstroke, breaststroke. Egyptian, a backstroke, a breaststroke, a side stroke, a crawl. Bathing in the waters, he's got it. Up the Nile, he's got it. He's got it all. The sun is shining down. And everybody's happy, happy. He's so happy, happy. Bathing in the waters. Of denial. I thought I heard a bomb. It must be a celebration. If anything was wrong, they tell me on TV. Sometimes I am amazed how perfect things are going. I think I'll do some shopping and take a little time for me. Everybody's doing it. We're swimming in the big backstroke, breaststroke. Egyptian, a backstroke, a breaststroke, a side stroke, a crawl. Bathing in the waters, he's got it. Up and on, he's got it. He's got it all. The sun is shining down. And everybody's happy, happy. He's so happy, happy. Bathing in the waters of denial. I'm happy. I'm actually, I actually am really happy. Uh, so once in a while we get a really big win. Like I, I work on all these campaigns and interesting enough, out west we've had lots and lots of wins the last two years. Uh, right up to the election. We haven't had a win after the election. Um, but uh, this win happened two weeks ago. Uh, for six years I've been traveling to this remote Athabascan village like 300 people on the cook inlet uh, 60 miles west of anchorage alaska and uh the there was a proposal there i, I work i do a week I'm, I'm a week-long summer camp there and they they throw a the environmentalists throw a week-long summer camp for the children of all the people of the village and the people of the, all the athabascan adults and elders who are working to stop this uh, proposed coal mine they wanted to build a coal mine in their salmon river you know, a big river, it's called the Chwitna River. They wanted to dig up 13 miles of prime salmon habitat, spawning habitat, 300 feet down, rip the whole thing out and dump all the rock back in for coal. And that was the proposal. And uh, I've, been, I've been working with this team for six years and on it and the people of the village have been fighting it for 40 years. And two weeks ago, we won. We won. Yeah, yeah. Major deal, and you're probably familiar with Standing Rock, um, uh, which had that incredible protest there. I had many friends go there. I was supposed to go, but I couldn't go because of a family emergency. But uh, this is similar, except this one, uh, we won, and it's done. And that those salmon are protected, the people's food source is protected, the 
salmon are protected for the commercial fishers in the area and the river is protected. Um, the oil's running at Standing Rock, but there are still legal cases. I mean, the bottom line is, um, if the Clean Water Act was uh, enforced, there's different laws that could be enforced, they could shut that oil off, okay? So it's not, it's not over. <laughs> it's not over. Pipelines can be turned off. <clears throat> and we're, uh, our, our, we're fighting a big pipeline in Vancouver, British Columbia right now. But uh, when I, uh, when I, uh, my friends who were working to stop that mine wanted me to write a song about it. And I said, hey, is there any way you can get me up there so I could see the river and talk to the elders and learn the story and write the song. And they, that they hired me to do this, be this camp counselor. And I was like, cool. And, and it was amazing. Uh, and within two hours of landing there, I found myself, uh, they were fishing for salmon and this elder came up and pulled out the map and ex started explaining the history of their people and I realized he was giving me the song, he was just downloading the song to me and I wrote it a couple days later, but, but this is the song and I'm just very happy to play it. I've played it for many, many years um, thinking, oh boy, I hope we can pull this off and, and, and we did miraculously and so they're, and I'm gonna, they're hiring me, I, I thought they'd cancel me going up there this year but they're bringing bringing us up to have a celebration. So that'll be really cool. I go there at the beginning of August. <clears throat> Salmon come home again and again Since the beginning of time The beginning of when we've been living here We've been living here forever Salmon come home again and again Since the beginning of time The beginning of when we've been living here We've been living on this land forever Then the Russians came For the fur and ground built log forts and we burned them down and the great flu came taking old and young we gathered who was left and we begin again the salmon come home again and again since the beginning of time the beginning of when we've been living here we've been living here forever Salmon come home again and again since the beginning of time, the beginning of when we've been living here. We've been living on this land forever. And the oil rigs came, promising us jobs, leaving oil sheens as we carry on. Then the loggers came, taking the great tree. Leaving mountains bare, leaving muddy streams. Salmon come home again and again since the beginning of time, the beginning of when we've been living here. We've been living here forever. Salmon come home again and again since the beginning of time, the beginning of when we've been living here. We've been living on this land forever. Now they come for the coal underneath our river to destroy our home, take our children's future. We are one small town, we are one proud people, we are one with salmon, we are one with eagle, we are one small town, we are one proud people. We are still surviving, we are still surviving. I do not believe Creator wants this to happen. I do not believe Creator wants this to happen. I do not believe Creator wants this to happen. I do not believe Creator wants this to happen. Salmon come home again and again since the beginning of time, the beginning of when we've been living here. We've been living here forever. 
Yes, I haven't come home again and again Since the beginning of time The beginning of when we've been living here We've been living on this land forever We've been living here We've been living on this land forever Yes, I haven't come home again 